So previously we we finished loading the data from database and then and then we're done with this part but if you go to some of the some of the somewhere you will see the all the all the all the tables inside the WordPress so will be developing that currently we'll be adding a submenu something you like this guy so we'll be adding something new here and then we'll start developing our our test i mean our table using wp wp list table so that's that's already built in wordpress so let's jump onto it so if you are familiar with that so you you go inside the finished project and then change your GitHub to, I believe, 0, 0, 0.5. That's where we are at right now. So switch it back to 0, 0.5 and then, and then now you are good to go. So we are at here. We are, we are inside our project development i mean plugin development and then we start adding the new files so to add the new files we add new file inside the view so go to the views and then select the views and then and then click on new file and then you know give it a name and i leave it that one so we need it later on and then and then create another file that call say stay select abuse make sure you are in there in the i uh, copy and paste so select abuse and then and then paste type a name or paste paste whatever Hello. No, not that one, please. Inside the views. You know, dot PHP. So you got that one. And then inside that one, we create the. You just copy and paste or type this guy. So it's nothing to do. Nothing to do. I mean, so you already knew HTML. So I'm not explaining that one. So go inside the my plugin.php, open that one. So that's where we will be we are adding the menus, you know. When you add menus inside the WordPress here, that's that's at that guy. So we already a main menu. So now we are we'll be adding sub menu. So to add the sub menu, so you you need following things. Make sure you are you are you are outside of the that clo closing bracket. So and then you you type sub menu. And these are the these are the slugs you will need. So so we don't need we don't need every we need most of the things most of the plugins normally that menu slug will be same as you are same as something no page title and menu title should be same as you are I uh, No, everything can be different. So we created that one, and then, and then, you we need parent slug. That's what we. That's what I'm talking. So you copy parent slug, because this is a sub menu. So we we need parent slug, and so parent slug is my plugin. So make sure you match that that too. And then page title should be. 
maybe we will we'll be we we'll be calling page title and the new slug page title should be make sure you are under the single code and then that should be add or edit new data and copy that guy and new slug so this two has to be same or it may be different you know it may work so so now we give a menu title so menu title should be same as you are uh, you are your menu slug or something like that but you take out so you can you can take out the take out this i mean and a school and everything and you can you can use as a normal normal text in the end and then that's your capability so options so we we need so what's your capability so we we, we want to we want to create a manage option so if you're not clear go to the wordpress documentation and you it will make you clear and then the last thing is callback function so we'll call that one as a test render page so that's your callback function it's similar to this guy look at this guy that's that's similar quite similar you can copy and paste this guy uh, and right now we go to the below test test and we create a function because we need call the function so we copy make sure you have the same name as that guy so normally copy and paste good so we don't we don't mistype so you double click and copy and paste in name and then we want to call we want to call that that guy so that that should be we want to include that one and then and then we we want to get the data tree name and then so that's that should be the file and and we want the we want to concatenate that one from that directory and then inside the use the i mean sorry use slash and then you copy that guy the whole the whole file name so just double click and then or f2 and you copy you type the same name as that guy uh and i believe that should be it it should be working in the vista scene sub menu hopefully thing across so so we got this uh, look at this guy so you are at the main menu that's our main menu this guy so and then if you click that guy so we'll, we'll, it will pop up the the C data so that's inside that's it that guy so so we we, we add the add or edit C data That's how we add sub menu. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, that's this is just for the beginning. So if you go back to the cell data table inside that one, so we we need to start fill it out because that's that's a skeleton, right? Skeleton is not enough. It's doing nothing. So go back that go back inside the C data dot PHP in the and then we start copying and paste. The first thing you need is you need to you need to uh create a constructor. So you need to create an object and uh, So, so the first thing you need is create a constructor and then you, you add the, you inherit from WP list table and then you add the following, following one. So that's it. This is an agent call. So that, that should be calling from maybe from behind the, behind the scene. That's why it's the same. So we, we, 
we create a force because we want to display it on on the on on the page so that's the first thing we need and then we inherit everything and then we, we add the data so these are the similar to slug and then second thing you need is we, we need to you go back to get columns so that that you will need to you will need we need to create the columns so we'll be using associate arrays that that means you need a cv that means the checkbox and everything at the id column and then the month and the c so so we are referencing from this guy so that we have an id month and then c amount so that's what we are referring to this guy so and there's an extra one check about inside the ID so beside the ID and then you have to re don't forget to return it but this is a normally PHP is a little bit different so it won't it won't it won't notify you to return the function so it's our responsibility um so the next thing is we need to we need to set this sort sort of a column which mean so when you click on the column headers at the top i mean we have a table and then when you click on column header it was sorted by automatically by the either id or you know a string so they compare all the string and then it will it will do that so that you can you can remove you you need to be much you can just just do one or you can just do you can do all sort of things that whatever you like so whatever you didn't set in here it won't be sorted so you cannot be click here so these are the, the four columns So you go inside the default column defaults and then and then copy everything. And these are the default columns. So so that mean that mean you have to be same as the that guy in the it will return the column's name. Uh, uh, um. the next thing is you are doing the checkboxes so you it will it will make you clear when you see it but for right now just just follow along with me because this is not super it this is not rocket science you can normally these are the templates so you can copy and paste and then you just change the ones you didn't need so so this guy is a little bit important so i'll be talking a little bit so so let's say let's say we have a three columns three columns right if you want to if you want to show you are you know edit, edit so when you hold about it and then it will show edit so that has to be much exactly same as your column's name exactly same as this guy so that's what it is about so so if you want to change if you if you don't want you know you are edit at or edit or whatever is pop up when the when you are mouse hover so make sure you you put the the right the right thing so so you you read the the i mean you read the you read the note in the and then you will see that what i'm saying so if you so so normally normally the one you need is we we'll copy and paste it's boring to type ah oh, sorry so that's a so so we and then the first thing you need is 
you need a uh, qu query query arguments so when you have a query arguments you have a page name so that's where you want to go so it should be it should be that guy so see we, we add a sub menu here so that's what it is about so that's a page name is this guy so make sure you add you copy from here Let, let's see let's see let's run with that guy so you save and then you create you create the you create that associated with right and then and then that's a page name so we want to go to this page submit new this page and then and then you paste so that's where we want to go and then we want the action to be added and then we'll pass the id name because when we query it will query by id so look at our one so that's what share with the dream and then so that so when we are querying so we'll be querying by that guy so so that's why we pass the id basically that's what share will be doing and then and then and then and then and then and then we you you paste that guy and we'll construct so that mean we we'll, we we'll, we'll have a page name we we'll have a id we we'll have a action and then something similar to that and then we need two things we need two action so one should be sorry so one should be details so and then the other thing you need is you need an action so these are the query and then and then we we reference that guy here and then we copy and then we want to go admin.php so you go back our inside that one this is admin.php and then that's that's where we should be going and we we want to be going so that and then we add the argument and then and then that this is the nouns that mean that mean wordpress and server side is making sure that this is coming from our our site and rather than from you know you know different side and then you you, you construct everything above to by here so if you sort it out you save and then we go back to bug action so so you may you may be undo that one so we won't be doing that one and then same for the process bulk action so we won't be doing that one that's nothing should be changed here unless no no nothing should be changed here and then this is quite important so so you copy line 154 to something 157 three lines and these are the columns from the top so we are we are referencing get columns from here uh, we are this this function so we we have a hidden one and then we we call it get sorted get columns from the top and then you copy line 160 the running nose and and we we try to get a column header so at the top we have a column header when you imagine and then and then now we are coming to our favorite part so we got we can access to the ploopy db so you copy line 166 to 175 So we trying to query from from there. So, so so this is 
what we explained in last tutorial so you already understood we created WPTV because we can access to WordPress database from our plugin we are inside the WordPress and then we query too so this is not safe normally you should be adding WP prepare and that's a safe part so we got it we got it all the queries inside the our we assume right now we assume and then and then we create a we create a new empty array and 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 and, and we will be doing the we will be adding that one inside our array so we will be looping to this guy and then we we, we pass as a array data normally hello you copy line 184 to 196 so that's this is a our classic classic for loop for each loop and then we're trying to get C data we got a you look at that guy we have an id we have a month we have a C amount so we got the object inside it, that one and then we push we push inside our array data array and then and then and then and then and then and then we're trying to print up so you already you one two one you we are at two one we, we try to print out the data so 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 we we, we want to see what is it inside that's what what it is and then you copy line 207 so so we we try to sort it by sort order if you want to sort it so we want to sort data by order and then and then you copy line two one two 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 one four in there and so we want the 10 10 lines 10 data lines per page and then we 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 try to we try to sort it out by page number so let's say we have a 12 we have 12 data data lines and then it will be sorted the first page will have 12 and then the another page will have the remaining two and then and then we have to slide it but so these are the counting so we're trying to count and then you need to slide it by the page number so these are the this is the algorithm how you could how you create the page numbers number of pages and 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 and, and this one's quite important so line two to three two Line to do seven is important. So, and then we we try to add items. I believe I believe the store item. So you. So we try to add the data. So inside that's basically what it is, and then. And. This is I got it from template, so you read the template and you understood. And then not nothing parts, not all the parts changing. So so we can forget that one. And then the main thing's important is this part. So we we got a query and we we got the data and we want to display it. And that's why is it? So we you call it you call it by page number, and then num so if you are in page two, you only get two two data tip two data and then if you are in page one you got 10 data so total of 12 that's what what it is and then you go back inside the my plugin.php so go to the top go to the top and then we need to create something so so we need to we need to reference that we want to call the we want to inherit I'm inside I inside a C data table PHP. So we want to inherit WP list table, right? 
so if you are calling right now there's nowhere you can get that inheritance because we didn't reference it so that's where we will be referencing so so we'll be getting we'll be we we trying to get one time and then that's the absolute part and then that should be inside your wp admin and then include and then class wp is listed so so this is where you get the wp listed and if you want to know if you want to see real one inside go to that that part and then wp admin and then go to use you are inside wordpress and then wp admin go inside usc.php and then try to figure that out by yourself uh second things we have to do is we have to require our z data table so that should be directory name and these are the function and i want to concatenate and then where where it is it should be in, inside the include folder include and then you copy and we need semicolon so that's where we are doing so that ha that's one has to be came from here normally to be said normally what i would do is i copy and paste it sometime if you see that's not good that's not good copy and paste are not good the proper one is good so normally i copy and paste because because of the speed or you know sometimes you you will have a sleepy day and then you mess up when you're drinking drinking less coffee and 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 so we got we got our guy and then and then we try to call that guy so we're at the We're at the C info render, you know. So we're at another another sub menu. So normally you copy that guy. We don't. We can customize. So the parent slug is the same. So that's our parent parent, parent slug. And then you we copy the C info. So that that guy has to be changed. So remember our our guy selection that guy. So or you can you don't don't do this guy. So that that's it. The, that's the guy I was talking. So I changed to control or the down arrow. You can change it. Select and then next occurrence. And then we can paste. So give it name. And then menu title, that's a menu title. So it's the same one, we want the same one, please. Uh, that should be, that should be, that should be small cup. Uh, this one is the same. And then we only need a function. Normally what I would do is we copy and paste. So we, you just you just press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and then it will copy and paste, and then you go not that guy, and then we call C info render page. So you go you type that guy and then copy that guy, and then we have a C info render page. So we we got that guy, and and now. Now we got we can call our function this function here. So we we create the name, we create the private name. Uh, uh, so so that's an object, and then we create a we create a new object. And you you are wondering how do we get this guy? So we got this guy by calling our class 
cut our PHP class in here. And then and then that guy is getting from this guy. So that's that's our class name. So see, see everything is correlated. So if you're wondering how do you get that guy, so this guy getting from this guy. So by calling from here to be repeat. And then and then we try to call object and then we try to call the prepare items. So that guy. This is a method. So we are calling prepare items is somewhere here. So this guy. So we create the we create the functions and then we call it everything from here. And then we should be seeing some data. And then and then and then and then and then it came back to our our friend. So we try to call the because oh sorry. We try to call the our our friend so google chart of php that's where we want to add our our data you know and then and i need the our our chart so so we are calling we are calling the google chart of php is somewhere here inside the views so now we need to we need to add our guy. So this is our HTML. So you open Google chart of PH, chart of PHP inside your inside your in your on your finished project. And then and then this is this is almost everything, right? So 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 you you go at the at the end you go i mean normally you emit emit, emit. so we don't need that guy empty class we and then we give it we'll copy and paste we're busy you, you can type because it's so slow and then you can see that and 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 and, and now you need to put the form. So, so you need to, you need to get the form. Action, nothing. We trying to get this guy. Not that. I mean, we don't need it right now, but we want to try to get get you know. And then, and then we trying to give an ID. So this is our form. So you create the form. In there. And and and, and this is our our template. In there. That template is make sure you get it from you return the full screen our to our current page. So that that's a template that should be exactly the same. So and then this is the most important part. So you you type a n line php n line php and then we try to get go back to my plugin of php. So you need to get this guy. So you go back to Google Chat of php and you delete that guy and. We have a display here. Display method inside your C data dot somewhere. Give it display one somewhere. Or maybe at the parent. Do we have display? No. No, it, it should be inside the parent class. So you we try to display. So that guy has to be same as this guy otherwise you won't get anything 
Now finger cross, you save everything. Make sure you save all. Okay, I don't have anything. That's good. Uh, we go back there. You refresh. So you go inside our see info. Voila, you see? You see that one? And then this is our printed out. So we're trying to print out something. And 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 we're trying to these are getting from our so you go back inside the CA data and then you go to the top and then call an ID and that's it. That's an edit. So you you got DT. So that's 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 where you get. So so we you go you click on this guy. So that's our main page. And we got error. But this one's good. See info is good. So normally you should be seeing similar to this one. So we're with debug. We don't need this guy. So you go back inside our see data.php and then go to the display item prepare items and then comment out this guy comment out control slash comment out that guy and we'll come up with the other one so we got we got we got beautiful chart and then we got the details so if we click on details so we go we go inside add or edit data and then we'll, we'll be doing that one on next tutorial i believe i believe currently we have some issue google line chart click on google line chart so line 96 okay we try, we have to sort it out. So it's 10 out of that. We go back to our, our plugin development and then, and then that's same. So we, when I inspect, so we are using, just double click on that guy. So we, we are using the, we, we are using that guy. So, so we, we, we are inside Google chart and then we trying to call this guy. But initial one, initial one, this is initial one. So this is our main plugin, main menu. It doesn't have that one. So we just copy and paste that guy here and then paste it. You save and then, and then go inside our data.php. And you copy from. I want to. I want. I want to just. I, uh, just show you the how easy it is to use the. To use the objects and and reuse it. That's 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 the main point. So you go inside the C data the PHP and then you save it. And 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 go back to this one. Make sure you save. Uh, go to my plugin.php so that this is our main guy right that's our main menu this is our second sub menu and then you go to you change this name to see data.php and then you're good to go I believe I believe so now this thing should be gone So voila, so we have a chart, uh, we have an ID, uh, you can sort it out by January, somehow ID is not, ID is not explaining, I mean displaying correctly, and then you go inside the C data and then, and then it should, it should just show the chart and then, 
we need to sort this guy now why id is not showing so normally you should be seeing that uh you should be seeing the one two three four or something like that from here so if you query if you query inside your mysql workbench so that's the id which we should be seeing so so let me see what are the difference so normally whatever you got something wrong so that is inside that should be inside that guy so so it's 10 out that it's 10 out my belief is somewhere here let's see so go back to your my secret workbench and then go inside the tutorial and then and then click on our custom table so this is our custom table and then make sure look at the id so that's a capital capital d so and then in here forget about this one this is this is what we define but in here we return as the object and 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 that should be that should be changed to capital d and refresh finger cross yep so you see that you see that and then we got the we got it sorted by auto sorted by id right that's not quite right because on our see it data the php go to the top top here go to the sorted order so this guy is sorted by id but that that id show that id is a string so a string name so one and so it has an order so the string has the order so if you sort it by string you know you have a weird thing that it will it will show one or one zero is bigger than the two something like that so that's sorted by string so if you take can out so we don't need we don't need the sorted columns if you take can out this one so you comment it out so you may you may like that guy so you comment it out in the choo -choo. go back to that guy and then if we sort it up it should be sorted up by your integer so so that that's sorted up by integer it's not sorted by by the string you know so so if you click on next top here as well so see so one is a 12 is bigger than 11 so it's sorted by ascending order but if you if you click on that guy it's not doing anything so that's your job to be to be hard to to sort it out so you need to sort it out by integer as well kindly we are not sorting out because we remove that guy if you like this thing so normally we we need we need the biggest to smallest or your client may need one to I mean smallest to biggest so this is our guy and then and then next tutorial we start adding the data and then we'll remove the data and then we'll we'll operate the crew operation so stay tuned and then i hope you learned something and then bye for now